The Razer Phone Top 5 Play for North America starts off with Dino Riders ZK in a 1v4. Unbeknownst to his pursuers, the rest of his team is not far behind, forming a pincer should he be able to last long enough. He spends lift off the max zone, making him difficult to target as he speeds into the back lines, allowing the rest of Dino Riders to catch up. Beast is the first to arrive on site, spending Red Stallion to dash into the fray. He's past this defensive King's Glory, so it finds nothing, and Hoon's Smite is already racking up its own damage. By this point, Dino Riders have badly split their opponents. This fight was never taken as a traditional 5v5. ZK does die in the latter half, but the damage has been done. Near the Abyssal Dragon, one tricker trying to hold off an immortal steel attempt. x tier uses the Lasso of Truth, catapulting himself in. His fit is spent to amp up the damage from his sword and shield, which are lethal. Immortals don't get the dragon, but they get twice the value in kills. Their Alice is a major reason why they won the fight. Her role as an offensive support character has never been more apparent. And likewise, Casey Fox on Violet is excellent at hunting down these stragglers. Jungle 20 sees Violet gets a chance to shine too, his tactical fire granting him a longer range rocket to find a kill on ZK Superman. As Dino Riders press forward to dive the backline, CL Xenial makes spectacular use of the Malleus, stunning both attackers. A hazy fit further splits the fight and Dino Riders are torn apart. Hoon lingers on the defense, proving tough to deal with, and in the attacker's weakened state, worthy of consideration. Jungle 20 again proves their worth, though, spending a tactical fire again, this time to dodge the Plague Spectre and find the game-winning kill. This is another example of why mobility and the ability to deny that mobility are so important. Immortals player KZ Fox is on Lindis here. Her passive treads softly, giving her a speed boost in the bush, with her old Lunar Champion allowing her to chase down the kill on her counterpart, Yikes. Just as things get risky for KZ Fox, Chaos Protection is provided, allowing a smooth escape into the bush. Bobo is already on cleanup, with Superman's Kryptonian strength to lock up the retreating Dino Riders. Everyone should already know what the best play of last week was. 80s heroes, heroics versus dino riders were certainly memorable. While the various techniques used to reduce his blink and wheel cooldown are important, I would like to draw attention to the positioning. 80s hero kites masterfully within the smite, never stepping too close to the melees and indeed focusing down beast first. Hoon's high damage to Lin is his next target, ensuring that dino riders are left without burst damage to finish him off. 